Alan from Twinkle. We're going to get moving today and we're going to do some PE. Before we do, let's have a think. Do you know of any sports? Shout them out. Yes, we've got lots of sports. We've got football, we've got rugby, we've got netball. We've got loads of activities that we can do and have fun. Do you have a favourite? I have a favourite too. My favourite is rugby. But today we're going to be doing football. These sports around me here are called invasion games. Invasion games mean sports that involve attacking and defending and scoring goals or points. These games also are played in teams with a ball and they result in players working together to score points or goals. Now, in order to do sports safely, you need to be dressed appropriately. Do I look as if I'm ready for PE? Let's get ready. Now we're ready to get moving. You need to either find an outside space or a big space that your grown-up says is okay to move a ball around. Let's get moving. You will need a ball and some cones. You will also need some energy. We're going to start by warming up our bodies. It's very important when doing any form of exercise to do a warm up. We are going to pretend that the bottom of your feet are covered in paint and you need to paint the floor using your feet. Can you jog around finding every space you can within your area to paint the floor? Off you go and do it now. Oh, fantastic. This time, it's not just your feet that have got paint on, it's your hands as well. Carefully paint the floor with your hands and feet. Off you go. Come back. For our first activity, we are going to dribble with the ball. You need to set up two cones so that you've got a space to move from one cone to another. Now, tips for when you're dribbling. Start off slow. Make sure that you're looking at the ball and when you become more confident, you can put your head up and look where you're going. Second tip is make sure that the ball stays close to your foot. And the third tip is to make sure that you use the inside of your foot to move the ball. Pause the video here and have a go. going to practice dodging. Now if you don't have anyone to play with you're going to use your cones as your opponents. You need to move lightly on your feet weaving in and out of the cones. First time I want you to do it without the ball. When you become more confident use the ball as well. Pause the video here and have a go. It's now time to put those skills together. Now, depending on the space that you have to work in, you want to set yourself up a little course to go round. You can use your cones and you can use anything else that you have available. Once you've set up your course, practice your dodging and your dribbling skills. Don't forget the tips that I told you to perfect each one. And remember, practice makes perfect.
start of the lesson, we warmed our bodies up. It's now important to cool them down. We're going to play a little game. Now you're going to start off moving around and as time goes on, you're going to get slower and slower and slower until you end up like a statue. Once you're a statue, close your eyes and take some deep breaths in. In and out five times. Once you've done that, your body and your mind will be nice and cooled down after an exciting football PE session. Well, didn't you all do fantastic? I had my helper here and he was fantastic as well. I'll see you again soon for another Twinkle Teachers session. Goodbye. Goodbye.